and then some. Okay, so we're gonna play uh, computer space. Um, you see there on the right hand side, uh, basically the idea is it's within a set amount of time, you have to shoot, you know, I basically you play as the rocket, I'll be the rocket. You see the two saucers there on screen. The saucers fire at you, you fire at the rocket. Whoever gets more hits within the time limit wins the game. So uh, hopefully, we'll see how well I do, but hopefully this won't take more than at most 10 minutes. Um, from reading about the game more online, the def the game, the arcade game actually let you, I think select anywhere between 60 to 120 seconds. So one to two minutes as the time length. The default was sort of the midpoint there, which is 90 seconds, uh, a minute and a half. So that's actually what we're gonna play it as, if I can change this. Can I change this? One second. Yes, okay. One player versus saucers, looks good. All right, let's uh, start. We're just gonna keep time on this for fun. Start timer, and let's start the game. Oh, oh. great, so they spawned right where I was. Oh, wow, okay, I guess that went to a tie since we crashed into each other. Oh, <laughs> another crash, another tie. Okay, apparently I'm spawning in a place that's... We had another crash. Oh, the music is too high. Okay, one second. Pause. Okay, good. Pause. Wait, are you guys getting sound effects from the game, or are you talking about the music is loud? Because I'm not hearing any music. I'm not hearing any sound effects from the game. Sound effects? Wow, I'm not hearing any sound effects. Hang on. That is bizarre. Oh, maybe it's. You know what? I probably have it set to go to stream. Sorry, one second. Um, what is this coming in on? This. Shouldn't be. Okay. Hmm. I can't even hear the sound effects myself. Okay, let me, um, I'm just gonna kill it then from the panel. Ah, okay, there it is. Okay, I just killed it, so I don't think you should hear it anymore. We should be good. That's weird, I'm not here. it's just outputting it to stream, it's not, um, I wasn't able to hear any of it. Bizarre. Okay, uh, figure it out later. Anyway, <laughs> sound effects I'm sure either which way are not very impressive, especially if it's just uh, white noise. Retro Day, thank you for the host. Welcome everyone. Photon, thank you for the host. Retro Day, how is the uh, how is game early days of the GameCube challenge going on? I'm sorry, I've missed the first few you've had since I, I just got back from overseas. Sound effects are historical. Uh, Bim Clunk asks a good question. How do we know that the um, simulation is accurate? Uh, I don't know if it's 100% accurate, but uh, you can definitely read the documentation from uh, Mike O'Malley, who created it. It seems like it was a fairly in-depth project, and it's the closest you can come to playing it today uh, with lacking the original cabinet, so that's what we're going with. Oh, damn. Okay, now I just got hit here. Ah, okay, seven to five. This is annoying. It spawns me right where they are for the crash. Oh, now I'm getting killed. Nine to five. Ah, okay, there, I, I got my first hit with, first, like, legit hit without, uh, without a crash. Oop, turn. 
It's actually fairly impressive AI, it seems to me, for the ship movement. Because it's not like they're moving in a pattern, right? Ah, 10 to 8. I think, is it first one to... Oh, no, there, there's the time. So that's it. So I just lost uh, by the score of 10 to 8. Oh, how do we know it accurately simulates a space battle? Let's just say it accurately simulates the 1950s sci-fi conception of the space battle. How about that? For like a, a 1950s uh, sci-fi space movie. Yeah, exactly. Hey, JK. Yes, that's exactly right. Yeah. You can't... Um, the, yeah, it was baked into the hardware, so you can't really get... Uh, they're all like discrete logic. I don't. I'm, I'm very bad when it comes to the, sort of the technology behind everything. All right, so let's. Uh, can we restart this? I should. We should be able to restart this again. Hey, induction. This is the first commercial arcade game ever. Computer Space, 1971, from uh, Nolan Bushnell's Saizigi. It was the uh, forerunner to him. Um, the money he made from this, he used to form Atari the next year and made Pong. Okay, good. We, rest we restarted. All right. It's Clavera. Thank you for the host. Ah, oh, there we go. We got a hit. All right. Got a one nothing lead. So now, actually, if I just if I just try to kill time, I could just try to run out the clock. Cause it ah, damn it. Ah, that's a crash. Two to one. Fine. Okay, another crash. So when you crash, each each uh, both the rocket and the saucer score points. Where the hell am I? Okay, there. So the idea is whoever has the highest score after 90 seconds wins. So I can try to kind of run off the clock here, or what the hell? Ah, oh, fuck, they got. So the problem is some of this is happening off screen, so I can't even see it. I can't see myself or see myself getting hit. Damn, tie game again. Yeah. So again, the, the, the game is trying to actually use new, Newtonian physics, which is why you have the thrusters and gravity. It's not just simple like left to right movement, if you can tell. Ah, just couldn't evade that. I might be missing something though, because I can't really like... I can turn left and right, and I can use my thrusters. I guess that's really... Ah, oh, no. I lost right at the end. 11-10. Yeah. yeah, so this is a simulation, not an emulation. Alright, maybe the third time is, is going to be the charm. I went from losing by two to now losing by one, so at least things are trending. Slightly in the right direction here. And you you don't have rapid fire. You can only really have one sort of laser, bullet, whatever you want to call it, in motion. Ah, damn it. Any one time. And not being able to see your positioning uh, when you're off screen is kind of annoying. But again, this is, I mean, this is the first commercial video game ever. So... You have to view it, viewing it through that lens is actually pretty impressive, I, I would say. You can't expect uh, ah things to be really polished here. But yeah, there's also like a, a feeling of acceleration, like moving from a from uh, moving from being stopped. It, it, it it's almost like there's a starting friction. Okay, there we go. Got one. So it, it takes a little bit to uh, get going there. Yeah, just a vacation beard retro day. So <laughs> I'm I'm gonna be uh, shaving tonight in time when I return to work. Oh come on! Oh, I got shot right before he shot me. All right. Well, this game is over. Uh, there we go. Nine to six. Final score. Yeah, if someone can look up discrete logic, um, 
I'm relying actually there's a list on like um, on a wiki there's a wiki list of which games are discrete logic uh, some of them have been simulated um, and others have not most of them have not been the vast majority okay let's go this is the fourth game now or fourth match you could say oh come on ah crash one one There we go. Okay. Now can I hang on to this lead? Apparently not, because I died off screen. That is... That's probably my number one complaint about the game, is just being so vulnerable when you're off screen. <sighs> there we go. Tied things up. Ah. Uh, there we go. Okay, tied it back up. Damn it. Seven six. Eight. Seven. Okay, we crashed off screen again. And I was a sitting duck where I spawned there, so not exactly a level playing field here. Uh, the game is, uh, I've set it to run for each match is 90 seconds, so my, as soon as I'm able to win within the 90 second, uh, there, so I just lost 10 to 8. As soon as I can get a win, then I'm, I'm going to call it. Yeah, and the graphic, yeah, the graphics really are not bad. The fact that they're able to have that sort of background, sort of Starfield layer, it's pretty, um, it's pretty impressive, I have to say. I mean, the graphics for this are actually... I mean, aside from it being black and white, the, the graphics and animations are arguably better than a lot of sort of Atari 2600 games, I would, I would say, almost. Because, you know, those games tend to be very blacky graphics. And here you have this sort of this, obviously, alternative approach. With, I don't know, would you exactly call these pixels? I guess... I, they don't exactly seem to be equal size, though, so I'm not even sure whether... Okay, there we go. Tied it up at one. Yes, two, two, one. Okay, got a lead. Now the trick is just holding it. I think the best strategy... I gotta stay on screen as much as possible, because when I go off screen, I'm pretty much dead because I can't see what's going on. Alright, still have a slim lead here. Whoa, can I control my bullet in flight? That was weird. Damn it. Oh, okay, it was just a crash, not a big deal. Yes, okay, we got a okay, we got a two point lead. With about twenty five seconds left to go, and we two more collisions. No, no, no. Damn it. Alright, I just have to hold on for 15 seconds, come on. Fuck, you gotta be kidding. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. No. Yes, yes, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. No! <laughs> With one, oh man, as time expires, they get the tying hit. Uh. Is it produced by the tube or film overlay? It's a great question, Glitch. I don't know. I was under the impression it was part of the graphics, but maybe maybe not. All right, so we got a tie there. We got a tie. Uh, again, it's just it's not left. You know, it's not just left right movement. Uh, it's it thrusters and gravity, so it's it's not the easiest control. So even though I see like I can see that the projectile, the bullet is coming for me, but it's 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 harder to move than it. it well, actually, I guess it would it appear to be pretty difficult to move. But you can't make, like, quick... The, my, my best shot at evasive maneuvers is uh, sort of rotating. It's not, like, actual moving there. Okay, I got a, another early lead. Well, so much for that. All right, but I, I, do, I, I do have a tie, and... Well, not anymore, but... 
getting a tie-in was good. That was good progress. I was very close there to, to winning. I was hoping this would be take only two or three tries. But yeah, well, this game's pretty much over. All right. Did, oh, that was a off-screen collision. Yeah. See, there's almost like a you know a starting friction. So it does take a little bit of to move initially. Ah, oh, damn. And and the um, the saucers are a little bit unpredictable. I mean, sometimes they just stand still you, when you think they're moving on a certain pattern. Yeah, inertia. Thank you, Glitch. Inertia is a good way to describe it. It's not tank controls, though. It's definitely not tank controls. Even though it may appear that way as for the movement. Okay, there we go. go. Oh, no. That was a hit. What? Oh, okay. Restart again. All right, I lost by two. It looked like 11 to 9. Okay, I got one in. Nice. Oh, wow, they shot each other. That doesn't count as a, <laughs> that doesn't count as a hit for me. Okay, there we Okay, I got a two I got a two shot lead. Well, not anymore. Alright, I have to do a better job of um Oh I missed from point blank. Fuck. I have to do a better job of uh quick turning. What? They gave that to him? You've gotta be kidding. Uh Wow, I went from a two point lead to a two point deficit in the span of about ten seconds there. That was awful. There I just got a bad spawn. All right, and this, these games can, pff, another spawn where I'm immediately dead. I also noticed these, these saucers can fire from any direction, whereas I have to have, obviously, my nozzle pointed in the direction that I want to fire. So you're sort of automatically, sort of intrinsically at a disadvantage in some ways. <laughs> you think so, Kaka? I was toying around with this just a little bit before the stream, just so I had a sense of the controls, and I wasn't doing too badly. But yeah, this one I got wrecked. 15 to 6, damn, that's the worst yet. Okay. I somehow, I'm always able to take an early lead that this goes away. Does up, pressing up do anything? Huh? Oh, come on. Okay, my best shot at, like, dodging is basically uh, spinning. So I just got hit by... Ah, see? You just get a bad spawn and you're a sitting duck. It's kind of cheap. Again, it happened. I may be able to control my bullet here. Oh my gosh, yes. I'm able to control... Okay, I didn't realize that until now. After firing the bullet, I can control its direction. I thought it was just a straight shot, but... <laughs> if you continue to use the arrow keys after you fired your bullet, you not only control your ship, it looks like, but you also control the trajectory of your missile or laser, whatever that is. Okay, that's interesting. Probably that wasn't by necessarily the intention is probably just a limitation of the controls is my guess because that's kind of otherwise they're like what like homing missiles or something I can't think of too many other <laughs> games where you'd have that mechanic all right 11 to 6 yeah this is the first ever commercial uh, video game yeah not a computer game yeah it's a fir first video arcade game and first uh commercial video game. Ah, I can't believe I was literally one second away from getting that win. Wait, now, does that count as a hit, though, if I hit them with aiming the projectile? Yes, it does. Okay, cool. Alright, so I can definitely... Ah, okay, so it's only for a limited time, though. You... Ah... You can only, um, eventually, the 
damn it, the, the uh, projectile that you shoot does fate. Oh, sitting duck. Yeah, this is a very difficult game to sort of mount a comeback with. In fact, I may as well just start trying to uh, restart here if I find myself down by two or three. There we go, I got one. There we go, okay. Got a, got a two two shot lead here. Uh, okay, down to one. Yeah, sometimes if you're sort of out of control, it makes sense to just intentionally do a collision just to wipe each other out. Yes, okay. Got back up to two, two rocket lead. We got it. Uh, every time I go up by two, he immediately hits me back. Nope. Okay. 30 seconds left, and I'm up by one. Okay, there we go. Fuck. Come on, do it. There we go. Okay, now. I'm just gonna. I'm not even gonna bother, like, trying to. Yes! Alright, up by two. Okay, now it'll be very tough to lose. In fact, I intentionally hit him just to take off time. And there we go, we did it. 20 minutes! <laughs> but, uh. They've beaten computer space! 13 to 11! The rocket has prevailed over the saucer. And computer space has met its black hole. Yes, that took, that took far more attempts than probably uh, was needed. Uh, but it, it was interesting, even for just uh, 20 minutes, uh, to play around with this. Again, I, you know, I'm in. I'm impressed, even though I can I can see why it was a bit tough for people, you know, video game as a new concept for them to get used to and to play. The controls are a little bit um, not the most intuitive, um, but it's fun. It makes it makes it more challenging, and uh, using real life physics is, is kind of kind of neat that they're able to program that. I guess originally in space war in the '60s, and then here in computer space. Uh, so yeah, I mean, this is. A, I mean, doesn't get any more historic than this. The first ever commercial uh, video game. All right, so um, I hope you guys kind of found that somewhat interesting. Um, many of you may have heard this game already, may not have seen it, so it's kind of cool to see. Thanks again to uh, was it Mike O'Malley for uh, creating the simulator and allowing us to uh, sort of vicariously experience uh, the game. Uh, Year, what is it, 2017, so it's 46 years after uh, the first commercial video game came out in November of 1971.